Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your carousel post on Instagram. First of all, let's launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower middle side of the settings with the plus sign. Then you want to select the images. As you can see, I can select multiple images, but the small tip over here is that you want to click on the double square on the lower right corner. You see the double square, you click on the double square and now you can select multiple images. In our case, we're going to select a couple of images and then we can proceed by clicking next on the top right corner. Then you can actually adjust the brightness, the filters. You can make it more brighter, darker, cooler, warmer. It's up to you guys. You want to make sure the theme is nice. Then you see the top middle side of the menu. There is a note sign. This is a pro tip that I'm going to give you for free. You can actually add music by clicking on the top middle side of the screen. This is where you can actually select a theme song. Imagine you're on vacation in the mountains, you, you just you know take plenty of images of the snow and the forest, and then you, you go back and you want to create a special Christmas theme, right? You just add the music. As you can see, we have on the top very nice Christmas songs. You add this song to your Christmas carousel with three, four, five, six images from the mountain, from the snow, from the trees. And you essentially have, if not the perfect post. This is very important because remember, the length of your post in the duration has to match with the length of the song. You have to adjust the length of each to a line. Next thing you want to do is you want to click next on the top right corner when you finish editing. And there, this is where the magic happens. If you simultaneously decide to change the music, you do not have to go back on the previous menu. If you want to change the song, all we got to do is to scroll down and there is a special section that is called add music. This will simply let you to change the song at the last step right over here. You don't have to lose your progress and you don't have to go back. You can change the song from here and then when you're ready, just add a new song and proceed with posting. Don't forget to include as usual your metadata and all the necessary hashtags. Then you want to hit the lower right corner. Then when you're at your profile, you want to hit the three straight lines on the top right corner. When you're at there, you want to focus on settings and privacy, first option. Then you want to scroll down to the section that is named for professionals. You want to click on business tools and control. When you're at business tools and controls, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you would find that you could simply switch account type okay this is where you can switch from business account to personal from business account to creator account as you can see currently i have a business account right and i have the options to switch to these both two accounts back to personal and back to creator account what is the main benefit of this? Well, first of all, if you want to make your account private, right? If you want to make your account private, you cannot still have a business account because you cannot make business account private. You have to go back to either a personal account or creator account. And after you switch, you can go back and you can make your account private. This is one of the main benefits because you will be able to hide your followers, your following list, your content. In our example over here, first of all, we are going to create a small draft post by simply clicking on the lower center of the screen. We're going to pick a piece of content we want to upload. In our example, this is going to be. Then we're going to click next. Remember guys, this is a draft post, okay? So we're going to scroll to the bottom of the page and we're going to click add music. Remember, every time when you click Add Music, you will have the first option over here, which is everything that is currently popular, everything that is currently trending. All these songs are currently trending. As you can see, there are just 20 songs approximately, okay? Versus if you scroll on the side, you have the browse function, and here you have hundreds of thousands inside each of these folders that is broken down. So this is your goal number one. That you can come over here and simply find the current trending songs. The second step you could also do essentially is to go back, right? Come over here, click on the magnifying glass on the lower left. Okay, go on your original discovery page 
and here you can essentially scroll through the actual popping up right remember all this what is popping up is in some way in some sense related to your following uh, people related to your uh, audience to your content that you already subscribed to but if i click on on for example but if i click on on something like this for example as you can look at over here right we can extract the sounds from the actual videos from the actual reels and remember this is not guaranteed uh, i i'm telling you that the more guaranteed function will essentially be simply go to the list that is sorted and filtered by instagram because the information will be the same remember the list of trending songs is built by instagram simply by number of people who are using the same songs and number of views they're getting or the engagement they're getting using the song then click on the top three arrows on top and then you go to your settings and privacy you scroll down and you will find something called account privacy you click on the account privacy and here you have to toggle in the actual private account what this will actually do this will simply provide protection to each of your posts and this simply can be seen by anyone this means that no one will be able to see your post even if they don't have your instagram account when your account is private only the followers you approve can see what you share including your photos or videos or hashtags and location pages this guys means that if you try to hide your content or your account from someone who is already in your followers you better remove this person or this account from your current followers because when you make it private he still will be able to see your content so this will not help you so if you try to hide your content from someone who is already following you you have to remove them and then turn your account into private account then you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your profile picture then you want to click on the three straight lines on the top right corner. Then you want to scroll down and you want to click on your activity. Then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page where you see information you shared with Instagram. You want to click on download your information. When you click on download your information, you will be automatically prompted to download your information. You can request a copy of your information at any time. When your file is ready, you will have four days to download your information from this page. This means that it's not automatic, guys. You have to wait and you have to be ready for it. Then you want to click on the lower right corner and hit on the profile. Okay. Then you want to hit on the top right corner and click on the three straight lines. Now, when you're on the settings menu, I want you to click on the third option, which is schedule content. When you click on schedule content, now we have the option to schedule a brand new post. You want to click on schedule now. Let's select the post. This is what we're going to schedule. You can actually select the multiple images, multiple posts by simply clicking on the double square for pictures or videos, whatever you like. When you're ready with a single post, in our case, you can press next. And then you can press next if you're ready. You can add more music over here. Not gonna do that. You can press next. And then you have a very small interesting option over here, which is essentially schedule the post, not posting it. If you click advanced settings, you can click over here and you can click schedule this post. When you do this, you can schedule the timing, you can schedule the date, you can schedule the a.m. or the p.m. and then you can simply click done and there you have it your post will be scheduled for posting at this time at this day then you want to grow on your profile bunch of posts let's say for example we want to archive this one over here you want to click on the three dots on the top and you want to click on the third option which says archive you click archive and there you have it the post is no longer on the actual feed as you can see the post was number one the post is no longer here let's say you did a mistake let's say you like this video you want to get this video back and you want to unarchive this video how are you going to go about it well it is not so complicated but i would say it it is very very slim because if you go back to the three dots on the top right corner and then when you click on archive the fifth option over here you have three options 
the default option will be this and when you go here you're not going to find what you just archived because it is a post it is not a story also you have live archives live videos that you publish or you went live right so this is why this is the slim part like i mentioned you have to go on the actual type of content that you archived in our case we have two videos this is the first one we actually archived so let me show you how we are going to unarchive this video we're going to click on the three dots on the top and then you're going to click on show on profile boom the video is no longer archived the video is no longer inside the archive we have one more video i don't know when and why i did actually archive this one again three dots on the top and then show on profile boom we have no longer posts on archive very simple very easy then i want you to click on the lower right corner on your profile picture then i want you to hit the top right corner and click on the three straight lines now i want you to scroll down to the section your activity is the fourth option i want you to click on it then when you're on your activity you want to scroll down to removed and archived content i want you to click on recently deleted and here you will find all the deleted posts, all the deleted stories, IGTV, all the deleted videos and reels, including highlights on your own profile. Everything will be over here and you will simply be able to click on it and restore the content. Very easy, very simple. So basically in this video, what I'm going to be doing is uh, we're going to be talking about Synthesia in a very quick way. So Synthesia is basically a generation platform where you can create an AI video using these AI models over here uh, and some texts, okay? And it's totally free, no credit card required. Just sign up with their page and uh, they give you 140 plus avatars, 120 plus uh, languages and accents and 60 plus pre-designed templates. You can also create your own avatar, but that does take some cost. But yeah, this is how it's going to look. They're going to give you a standard avatar. You can add videos over it, and then you can also add text prompts under it. So Synthesia.io, use it right now and get the best free video AI generations. So you can upload images where you can ask it questions regarding this image. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload this image of a bun and I'm going to write, what is this? Okay, I'm going to write that. I'm going to click on enter. Now, once you write that and you ask, what is this? We're going to wait for it to search up and it's going to give us an explanation on what this image contains. So it says, you know, I cannot access and process the image. Obviously, if the image is a bit blur or if you don't provide the image's link, it might do some mishaps, but it will generally tell you what the image is. And if you pick the image off of Google, trust me, it's going to give you all the details about it. Like you can pick up any image from Google Images and you're going to get the data you want. So that is basically Google Bard AI, and that is how we're going to use it for ourselves. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Till then, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Bing Image Creator. This is very, very interesting, guys very useful you will be able to create amazing designs as you can see over here these particular images are simply powered by dali 3 which as you may have guessed is extremely powerful very important first thing you want to click over here join and create you want to create in after you sign in right with your account now for example over here guys we are going to create something unique we are going to create a city in the middle of the ocean that is looking like New York City. Well guys, now we are waiting to see what will be the result over here. Very, very interesting, you know, it is it is easy to use. You don't have to have a specific particular knowledge or you don't have to be a designer or, or creator. You can just use your imagination. It usually takes uh, a while, but it depends on the traffic, depends how many people are using it. If you can see over here what uh, has been given here as an idea, as inspiration, if, if you can see there's uh, an astronaut, right? 
that is not actually in the space it looks like he's floating somewhere else uh okay oh wow just look at this look at what we created over here guys if you click on on one of these images right you're gonna essentially have this amazing amazing creation so guys what we can do this first of all you can click share right you can share this uh to a website you can share you can copy the link you can uh you know put the link inside your blog post you can come over here on the plus sign that you see over here you can essentially save this into your images because you have a collection right usually people create collections or you can click on the three dots over here and simply click download this is simply uh, unbelievable as you can see the quality of it is saved in 262 kilobytes so it is not a large uh, format right so you click over here you click download and then you simply download it okay this is how simple it is so if you look at the other images so if we close down we can look at Wow, look at this image, guys. This is simply unbelievable. Just think about how you can utilize this in your own, you know, world. Just, you see, we have a two uh, stages of liberty, right? You have multiple crossing bridges. It's absolutely stunning. And this has just been generated and created from uh like i said just one simple prompt look at this so guys this is how simple it is if you want to change something right you can click on the text underneath and you can essentially add to your previous prompt for example uh you know if you if you want to come over here you can simply create and you can add more to the items the more important part over here is that uh, you have this uh, small uh, lightning on the side. Uh, so this might essentially means that creating images more quickly with boost that will essentially help you to speed up the whole process. Right? This is kind of an upgrade. So uh, essentially you can utilize many, many functions, but this is simply mind blowing guys. For more tips and tricks like this, subscribe and come back for more. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Magic Media Studio and how you can utilize different projects by simply using the AI image generator from Canva. All you gotta do is to come over here on the apps inside the Canva app and then you wanna scroll down and look for different apps that are currently trending. You can find something that you like, you can find something new, you can find something that is recommended from the app itself. But we are going to look for Magic Media. We're going to use Magic Media because this is the proprietary and it's uh, very, very fast. It works easily. You will be able to understand exactly how you can generate images, logos and other projects. So when you come over here, you want to use a brand new design if you don't have an existing one that you want to change. When you click create a new design, we're going to use the AI image generator to create uh, some new social media post. So previously we did some logos, we did some, uh, you know, small adjustments. But as you can see over here, you can create a t-shirt design, right? You can sell something. We have a desktop wallpaper. So for example, if we want to create a desktop wallpaper, this simply will change the ratio, the ratio of our image. So the way how the magic media works is that you will have this window where you're going to input your prompt. And then if you scroll down, you can essentially change the layout or the filter or the style of which uh, will apply to your image. Also, if you want to change the aspect ratio to a landscape in our example, simply because it will be a wallpaper, right? You can do it. So create a Hawaii vibe uh, place uh, with infrastructure like New York City make the beach in the middle of the city around 
times square okay let's see <laughs> let's see how this crazy image would look like guys but essentially this is how it works so you're going to get like a four different versions of this image generated from the ai and you can pick which one you like uh, if you don't like any of it or you you want to change something right you can simply uh, scroll down and you will have an option like for example i can come over here and we can continue our prompt we can include more stuff as we like to right we can add more details and we can click generate again this will give us another example if i click on one of the images and simply make it larger this is one of the benefits of ai you probably wonder what is it the benefit is that even if you make an image large this will not ruin the quality because this is not a jpeg right this is why this is so good and this is why we we really like it so essentially this is how nice and if i zoom in you could see that this looks awesome right can you imagine this really to, to be true <laughs> we have this crazy crazy beach it reminds me of Chicago, to be honest with you guys. But this is how you can create a wallpaper using Magic Media on Canva AI. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use AI Image Generator on Canva. Very easy, guys. Very simple. The first thing I want to do is come over here at the canva.com. You want to stay on the homepage. And when you're over here, you want to click on the upper left side of the screen where you see the three straight lines. This will launch additional menu and then you're going to click on the apps. Then you want to click on discover apps. So you want to make sure you browse all the apps over here. So the first thing that we're going to focus is we're going to actually look for the uh, Canvas own proprietary technology app, which will be Magic Media so in this example we are going to utilize magic media this is the first icon over here in this example we are going to use the ai image generator of canvas ai we are going to create a brand new design and as you can see over here you have a like a pre-made templates for anything that you want to create so for example if you want to create a story if you want to create a logo if you want to create a email newsletter presentation anything is here guys so for example if you want to create a instagram post you have the square option over here in our example we're going to create a logo and the way how this actually works is that when you come over here you have to type a particular prompt when you type the prompt, you also have to choose underneath the style of the prompt. So in our example, we are going to create uh, New York City uh, in the space with flying cars and uh what else what else and like a connecting roads in the space to other uh planets okay guys so we we pick this one and we're going to select our style you can you can just pick something else right you don't have to be uh, some of these styles but you can collect all of these styles these styles will change the way how the image actually looks like after it's generated i don't like any of it you can also have the option c also you can pick more styles but i want to see how the city will look like without the, the actual filter on top so as you can see now the ai generates the image based on our prompt uh, usually works uh, pretty fast as you can see now we're, we're having the first image already generated and it looks very very cool the second one oh look at yeah i think i think this is very very nice so if you click on the image itself you will see the best thing about ai is that even if you adjust 
the size of it, right? It's still going to look very, very cool. It's not gonna reduce the quality as the usual JPEG that you will have. I want you to remember this. Now, if you click on the upper side, you can essentially copy. Uh, you can paste elements on top of it like a usual Canva project. Uh, remember, this is something that will will find its 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 shape and its form, right? So this is how you change the current aspect ratio, and then you can essentially go back, or you can create another file over here and create a markup for. Uh, let's say a collage, right? Let's go back and let's see how the other images actually look Because the main idea was that when you actually utilize Canva magic uh, uh, Media, right? This is just one tool Remember it is very important for you to know exactly what you want to create and to input as many details as possible the more details you input inside the prompt the better the output and the results will be. For more tips like this guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use AI image generator inside the Canva app. In the previous videos, we went through animation apps, we went through DALI, we went through Magic Studio. You wanna make sure you watch these videos guys so you understand how to use these apps, what kind of results we got. In this example over here, guys, I'm going to go through Imagen. So this is uh, essentially based on AI software coming from Google. Uh, very, very interesting. I have a huge hopes about this. I read uh, good things about it. So let's jump in. The first thing that you want to choose is are you going to create something from scratch like we are planning to do or you have existing project in Canva app that you can import and start working on it in our case we're going to choose a brand new project and we're going to create i would say uh, i would say something nice photo wallpaper this sounds cool okay so as you can see over here turn your text into photorealistic ai a beautiful oil painting of bergen you see what are the results so let's dive into the prompt itself create a painting of Monte Carlo during the winter let's see what we're going to get guys so Google Imaging will simply give you only two variations. DALI will give you two variations. Uh, the Magic Studio will give you four variations. So the result content does not meet our policy. What is the policy? I don't know. Oil painting of Monaco. Another try. We didn't use any brand, right, guys? We just used the name of the city, Monte Carlo. They, they thought we were probably talking about the casino Monte Carlo. <laughs> Okay, guys, we do have some results over here. Wow, look at this one. Let me type for you. So you can always make these pictures larger by simply dragging the corners. I don't like the, the ratio of the template, right? We have to move it on the side so you will be able to see. But I think it's so pretty, guys. It's so beautiful. Do you see all the details of Monte Carlo? It's beautiful. All the, the marina. And everything just think about now if you have like some of these crazy printers that can print like the actual materials right they can print with with particular like uh, like a pronounced design that it could be like you can touch the whole difference in the buildings right it's amazing this is how you can use imagine from Google guys I think this is my second favorite the first one still remains to be magic studio from Canva AI for more videos like this guys, subscribe and like this video.